what we're going to do now is try and build uh, Qt. So if we run, uh, sorry, NGL. If we run Qt Creator NGL Pro and load it up, um, this has been freshly downloaded using BZR and it's the latest branch. Now, what we're going to do first is build it with Qt 4.8. Um, so here's my Qt 4.8 here. Um, we can choose um, the library. We don't want to use any of the sub builds or anything else within Qt. So actually, I just want it to be built within the current NGL directory. Um, so all we need to do is to um, select the uh, correct directory and so on. So that's just going to be home JMAC NGL. Oops. NGL in my case. Um, so we're, and we're going to choose debug and release. Um, so we can build both. That comes in handy later when we want to do debug builds and everything else. So I'll put NGL in there as well. And if we configure project, and if we have a look, go back to projects here, we'll see that we've got a, a Qt 4.8. And if we go manage kits, um, that's going to bring up the configuration for this particular kit. And you can see at the moment it's on GCC um, 4.8. Uh, for 64-bit. Now normally I would build with Clang but I'm just doing this just to show you um, what happens and what we have to do if by accident you've set it up to use G++. And to be honest it makes very little difference when building um, whether you use Clang or G++. I just prefer Clang's um, compile output and everything else. But there is a problem when we try to build using um, this version of um, G++ and this error has been reported a few times so you'll see here we've got this thing that says explicit instantiation of std basic O stream there's some incompatibility with the standard template library that's being used and this is because um, Qt 4.8 uses an older um, header um, when trying to do the Qt configurations that's not compatible with the G++ libraries that are installed um, so what we have to do, we have to edit the make spec for G++ Mac X. Now this is in user local Qt 4.8 make specs common. If we open up this file, G++ Mac X conf, and here I've got it in the editor here, you'll see that it's these flags here for X684 and PowerPC, which is, to be honest, irrev irrelevant for anything we do. But if we just modify um, these files to be 10.7. Um, uh, you will need root access to do it. Um, in that case, I've not opened it as root, so what I'll do is I'll just open it um, in Vyandert G++ Mac X Conf like that. Enter my password, and so all we've got to do there is to go through and edit that and if I just replace that with a 7 and replace that with a 7 save that out um, all we now have to do is to go through and run QMake again and what I'm also going to do is just go and edit my um, make spec here um, if we pull this down, we can pass arguments to make. So what I'm going to do is pass in minus J8 to tell it how many cores um, to use when um, when building. So we can see now when I when I run this and I do a, a build rebuild all we should now see that it's going to start to build and we can see all cores being utilised. So um, minus J is a command line option to make to tell it how many cores to use. Normally it will only use a single core. Now you can see all eight cores are, are being used. Which is very nice and it does make build times a lot quicker because you're fully utilising all of your cores. Normally you won't be, as you can see there. Um, Whilst that's building, what I'm going to go and do is also go and edit my um, dot profile on the Mac. Um, again, this is um, 
in the root of the home directory, so tilde slash dot profile. And if we look here, I'll just close down that now. Um, we need to add to the um, the path of all of this the um, uh, location of where NGL is. Um, which again, if you go to my NGL page on the website, and there's links in this blog post, what we need to do is to add this um, LD library path, sorry, DWire library path for a Mac to our dot profile. So once that's put in there, what we can do is to go back and download now one of the um, demo prog programs. I've got them all on here on my main disk. And what we can also now see is a simple NGL program. With a bit of luck, once um, Qt is finished building, which um, it's almost doing, there you go, it's just linked up through now, it's a couple of little error messages and things like that. Um, if I run this now, um, oh, library not found, ls tilde slash ngl slash, oh sorry, I know what it is, it's just that I haven't sourced my tilde slash dot profile, remember to do that first. And now we should have our program running, simple NGL running up, and there we go. So I have my program running, it's all built, ready to run, and you should be able to use all of your own um, programs on there. The next movie I'm going to show how to configure for NG, uh, uh, QT5, um, which will um, show you how to manage the kits and things.